Ward builds another house in Cheryl, this time for Gerard Wayland Smith at 201 Kenwood Avenue. Next, 123 College Place for John Cummins. In the late 1980s, the house was ready for demolition for the new Science Technology Center at Syracuse University. The bricked up Mercer fireplace before demolition. A piece of molding that was rescued after demolition from the house. The house on 309 Allen Street was built on property owned by Maud Moyer Ward. It was jointly designed by Ward and Maud. Reportedly believed the Wards built it for themselves but never lived there. However, Roy Carpenter was the first owner of the house who had Ward do some small changes before moving in. The new 1913 Moyer model cars are now available in Syracuse. The Moyer advertising slogan, no hill too steep, no sands too deep, all roads are level to a Moyer. The slogan has been in use since 1910. Here is 1913 Moyer tourist Phaeton. A 1913 Moyer Model B touring car 174. A 1913 Moyer four cylinder runabout outside the Moyer Auto Factory on the Wolf Street side. 1913 Moyer Touring Car 203. 1913 Moyer Model B Touring Car 235. 1913 Moyer Model D Touring Car 241. A footnote here, 1912 and 1913 Moyer car changes are so subtle it's hard to tell the difference even by the serial tag numbers. This photo taken in 1913 shows Reverend Timothy Howard with his new Moyer runabout, car number 140. This is the serial tag number 188 and is riveted to the transmission frame cross member as in all other Moyer cars. A 1913 radiator emblem for the Moyer car. In 1912, Henry Ford comes out with the assembly line, which reduces production time to build a car from 14 hours to 1 hour and 30 minutes. He was the great artistic master of his craft, one of the leading designers of stained and leaded glass windows. His name, Henry Keck. Henry Keck got a start as an apprentice to Tiffany at 13 years old. Keck became tired of working for others in Rochester and then in Syracuse. He started his own studio in Syracuse in 1913. Known for his church stained glass windows, Keck will design hundreds of leaded glass windows for years to come in ward houses. At 161 Kenwood Avenue in Sherrill for B.L. Dunn. Back in Syracuse, Ward completes alteration to Harold Moyer's house at 237 Washington Square, just a block away from the Moyer Auto and Carriage Factories. A Mercer fireplace completes the house. Number 5 on the National Register of Historic Places, a house for L.R. Spencer at 114 Dorset Road, a similar interior plan to the Chapman House at 518 Danforth Street. Ward incorporates a Mercer tile fireplace with Spanish motifs. This arts and crafts colonial revival house also has a matching garage separate from the house. The George Cossio House at 672 Allen Street, now 680 Allen Street. Number 6 on the National Register of Historic Places, the Frank Garrett House at 110 Highland Avenue. Maud Moyer Ward designed the original curtains for the house. 
the great Mercer Tile fireplace of St. George and the Dragon. This is how it used to look like. Today, no longer intact due to theft. This English cottage style house also has a matching garage that used to have a turntable floor inside to rotate vehicles. Number seven on the National Register of Historic Places. This house designed for H.D. Sanford at 211 Summit Avenue. This arts and crafts Tudor Revival house has kept glass and three Mercer tile installations. This is the living room fireplace by Mercer. The fireplace in the billiard room is a Mercer milestone depicting Christopher Columbus with his ships and the new world. Number eight on the National Register of Historic Places. Ward designed this house for W.J. Ashton at 301 Salt Springs Road. This designed by Ward for Joseph H. Lynch at 1918 East Fayette Street, built in 1913. The 1914 rollout of the new Moyer cars have arrived in Syracuse. Here at a Boston Auto Show with 1914 model cars on display, including the new 1914 Moyer models. Mr. and Mrs. L. Will the same wheels of the Will and Bomber Candle Company in their new 1914 Moyer Tourist Phaeton. 1914 Moyer Runabout, car number 370. Moyer Touring Car, number 342. Moyer Runabout Car, number 346. 1914 Moyer Model E Runabout. 1914 Moyer Model G Touring Car, number 358. This particular car even made the month of February in an automobile calendar. Number 9 on the National Register of Historic Places. Ward designs this house for Orlo Blanchard at 329 Westcott Street. This is the present home of Cleota Reed, famous Syracuse author and historian. If not for her, Ward would have been forgotten in time, remembered only by those who knew and loved him. Here is the Mercer Fireplace at 329 Westcott Street. This is an original drawing by Ward of the same house. Number 10 on the National Register of Historic Places. Built for Mrs. Annie Dunphy at 206 Summit Avenue. Keck glass and Mercer tile installations adorn this Mission Prairie style one of a kind home. A leaded glass medallion by Keck decorates the front door of the house. Annie Dunphy, a devout Catholic, requested biblical themes for the tiles in her living room fireplace. The Mercer Masterpiece incorporates panels and biblical themes instead of small tiles. The second Mercer fireplace in the dining room. A third Mercer fireplace in the study. The fourth Mercer fireplace completes the master bedroom suite in the sitting room upstairs. Original bathroom fixtures still exist, like the sink and tub. Number 11 